Hello and welcome to a little CSGO video. Today I'll be bringing you some information on the update. So on the 14th of August 2013 we had a great update. A lot of controversy with this actual update at the moment. However, we have been introduced with two new weapons, USP Silenced and M4A1 Silenced. So what do you think of the weapons so far? Personally, I haven't been able to play them with them too much. 20 bullets for the M4A1 is interesting. The USP I've had a bit more luck with. I'm certainly liking the USP. It's certainly a lot better than the P2000. That was such a weird weapon. However, I will be doing another video going over the two weapons, actually breaking them down, talking about the recoil and the actual techniques, how to use a weapon and uh, be displaying that within a deathmatch. But for now, I'm actually going to be going over the second part of the update I like to talk about as the skins. So to actually further monetize the actual game they've actually introduced CSGO gun skins. One being a normal case that will go directly to Valve, the shares, some of them, and the other one being the eSport case. This is a similar format from the International 3 which just passed. Very interesting aspect. The money that is earned from this that instead of going to actual Valve, the company, it will be going to maybe a CSGO International number one. We'll have to see, but there hasn't been an, any details, details provided yet. But today what I want you to bring is something very nice. I have two keys, one for normal case and one for eSport. I have two cases and today I'll be just showing my two first skins. I haven't been able to get any in-game. I haven't been able to play enough to actually earn one. However, I will let you know what I get maybe in the Facebook page but yeah we're gonna be showing you how to get the keys and how to actually unlock them so to get keys you can either purchase them $1.99 each on the actual home page of CSGO or you can go into the Steam Marketplace Steam Marketplace is actually sending them a lot cheaper they're about £1.30 so if you convert that um, from pounds to your local currency and see what you get so once you've sorted yourself out with a case and a couple keys maybe, I don't know how much you're going to be getting them for, but you'll need to get them from the Steam Market. The keys are only mostly purchasable for a little, lot better price at the market. Same goes with the cases, but they will be dropped during random times that you play, maybe deathmatch, whatever. However, let's go into it. So you want to go into your inventory. You'll have a notification saying that you've got these uh, keys. So let's uh, rock and roll. The first instance I want to say thank you to Deadpool. He was actually gave me the CSGO weapon case, this one over here. Um, you can see that we have a different level of rarities and we're just going to see what was going to happen. But I have two sets of keys, two sets of cases and um, to actually activate it you need to right click and select open. Once this happens you can see that we have a selection of weapons that you may be able to get and then we go use key and it becomes like a betting format and I got org wings very nice and it gives you a nice little overview on the skin so that's the first case thank you very much Deadpool for the case the next one is the esports case and uh, this is goes directly to the potential international for one for CSGO. Again, gives you an overview of uh, what potential weapons you can get and we're going to hit go. And I got the M4A4 Faded Zebra. I hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you do give me a like and subscribe the content is always coming out and speak to you soon bye now